Hello, hello. Good afternoon, or early morning, or late morning. Good morning. How's everybody today? Thanks yeah. for coming out. Hey, for sure. Let's, yeah, let's see who's in chat. Hmm, Venture Dulo. Hello, Lady D. And I'm crazy. Happy belated birthday, sweetheart. KP Heathen Wolf. And I see trust. And yep. Mike Shalad. EMR Coins. Hello, Sean Stryker. Hey, Nash. Paul Scott. William Tyree. Yep. So. I'm going to open today's stream with a short prayer, and then I'm going to let my guests finish saying hi to everybody. Lord God, our Father, we thank you for all the light you give us and for all your loving help in outward things as well. We come into your presence and ask you to give us your light and your constant guidance for the past week <laughs> path we must follow. Amen. Oh, shit. Amen. Oh, I apologize. I thought I was muted. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're fine. So, trust. I want to say hi to some of some of these nice peeps that showed up in our chat. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, no, don't say any. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Hello, people. Love you. Thank you for coming out to uh, Shift Kickers uh, Coffee with Friends. Yeah. And if you weren't at the, this morning's uh, argumentative, yeah, we're, we're showing the man side proof. We the front door. When we watch the view between me and AB, you know, that's how we, we understand. They're just heckling and arguing and making no sense. So, but uh, yeah. Awesome. And if you missed this morning's show, just want to add, if you could please add longboarding mom and uh, her husband and her family in their prayers. Her husband is in the hospital he oh, needs to have surgery on his hand but uh they're he's having it, so uh they're trying to figure that out right now and then um she's at home trying to de-stress by doing some cooking and before she goes back to the hospital so she would deeply request it if we can add her to our prayer list so if you could do that i'd appreciate it okay and who's this nash landings guy yeah Sounds like he's a mama's boy. I'm going to talk to Meg. Did your mom give you a uh, note that you could be on this adult show, Nash? <laughs> hey, Random. Hello, How you doing? Yeah. Hello, Melvita in Georgia and Lady D in New Jersey. Okay, and so I, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that Tin TV hasn't been on this week. I'm burnout. I'm tired. I got a lot going on in my personal life with my elderly parents and a few other things. And but we'll be back, okay? Just give me a little bit of kitty time, downtime, a couple more days, and we'll be back, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ginger Ninja, good to see you. Good to see you, Ginger Ninja. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys have heard about that the um, seven point whatever it was earthquake in Taiwan, right? Um, mm. tr Trust has kind of a cool video of the bridge during it, of a bridge, what happened. So, yep, let's see if we can share that out. Okay, I'm going to do audio. Turn that on. Well, you know what they can see? It, and then I'll hit the play. The conspiracy on X yeah. is that that the elites did this to keep Aunt Gina from going in and attacking. Because if the country's all messed up, it'll be harder for them to go in and, 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 and you know, take them. Yeah, but that's just a rumor. Okay? Just a rumor. Can you see it on StreamYard? Yep. Yeah, we can see it. It needs okay. to be played. Okay, I'm hitting play now. Thank you. 
I just want to duly note, you see that tall uh, needle tower? Yep. Supposedly, that is one of the tallest buildings in the world right now. Dubai has the, the tallest, and this is like the second, supposedly. So just throw it out there, people didn't know. <laughs> Go away. And it didn't fall. No. But over 20, yeah, over 25 structures did uh, come off their foundations. And this morning they reported uh, nine deaths altogether and over 900 people injured so far. So Crazy. Thanks for showing that. That, that bridge is wiggling like that. How would yeah. y'all feel if you were on that bridge and all of a sudden you're driving? Mm, especially after what we've seen happening with bridges. Yeah. I think it's a bridge pandemic. Everything's happening. Good week. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Zed's place. Good to good see you. Random JL, good morning. So Tim, what are you seeing with our with our son and all that? It all kind of calmed down is what I'm I'm hearing. What have you noticed? Yeah, let me let me look at it. <clears throat> was calm it was calmer oh it's still really calm i don't know what's going on is this the calm before the storm oh boy yeah i think so let's hope and are we going out of grant um solar maximum because let's look back seven days we've been riding at a high c class for for a year or more hey, tiger. And we had like, um, oh geez, we had two big M classes between the 28th and the 31st, and then a whole bunch of M classes, like all this energy. And all of a sudden, bam, we're down to this. What is going on? Like how uh -huh. do you go, go from massive sunspots to nothing? So we'll go over the solar synopsis map and ooh, good Spencer did it, my favorite. So we don't have that many sunspots right now. We have a couple that are just came around the corner. Got a couple that are moving away from us right now. We've got one straight ahead at thirty six twenty four, but doesn't look like there's a whole bunch of polarity and then corona holes but we really don't have a lot going on on the sun right now which is kind of abnormal I go to the dashboard and see if i can get a better picture i think the sun's saving it for monday i mean you can see the corona holes starting to grow here here's that one sun two sunspots spots turning away two over here looks like that's one though but that might be mm. hi anna hi cyclists it just, just doesn't look like there's a lot of sunspots c compared to what it's been no and then even the energy coming in doesn't make any sense we've it's been so colorful and and this is what we want we want it like this we want this black and background with the white outline continents and then that light purple like this is just real is this the calm before the storm i don't know there's a little purple but we're, we've been seeing the color spectrum you know clear up to these red majority of the time it'd be in the purple the dark purple and then we were getting a lot of light blue but i don't know guys is this the calm before the storm doesn't make any sense yeah well there's a lot going on on the eighth except for those solar eclipse 
Hope uh, you have been keeping up with everything that they're uh, scheduling and programming and everything else. Yep, well, such as what Sean says, CERN is scheduled to activate. Yep. How thoughtfully well timed. I love how we put that. Thanks, Sean. They want, they want to see how CERN is affected by the solar eclipse. Stop messing with Mother Nature. Well, now they're messing with, they're moving the the viewing thing, you know, like when they show where it's exposed, like they've moved it over, it looks like, and I can't figure it out if they move it to the east, you. move it to the west. Yeah. Have but a good day, EMR. Lucia, how you doing? Yeah. On the 8th, besides the solar eclipse, and I still think we're going to get freaking uh, something shot from the sun towards us, so we're probably going to get a better view with the moon, you know, blocking most of the stuff. I personally think that. That's my opinion. But uh, like Sean Stryker say, NASA's going to shoot some rockets towards the eclipse. For what? Who knows? Um, maybe uh, it has to do with that comet that you can start seeing at night with the naked eye. We know we, we've been calling it the devil comet coming, but uh, they started calling it the mother of dragons. Yeah, the they, comet. They, they've changed the game a couple of times. Excuse me, sorry. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of funny because before it was supposed to come afterwards to speed it up, and now it's about the same timing as the solar eclipse. So, and then we got all the conspiracy stuff. Like they're gonna move giants during the four and a half minutes. How are they gonna yeah, move them? And all the Tincadias are gonna come out of the ground all on yeah. the same day. Yeah, that's weird. That's that's supposedly biblical because they're calling the Chichadas. They're saying, well, they're technically locusts. And it's yeah. Be loads of them. Yeah. Cool. Why? Why? Why are we renaming shit again? Like no. Chichadas. It, it, yep. That's a locust. Yeah. They come up out of the ground. Yeah. And they Every, change. They change their formation because of the lack of water. I mean, I watched a whole documentary on these suckers coming out of the ground a couple yep. years ago. Just, we don't got that yep. shit in Washington. Yep. We got volcanoes and stuff you know what i mean but we don't have no cicadas i didn't even know what those were until i met all you yeah because they don't they must not they must not have talked about it when it happened before or you know because i obviously it's been happening for years but they never talked about it in the news over in the pacific northwest so we don't i don't know what those things are and then the last couple years, they're like, oh, all these big, you know, they've been underground for 100 years. They've been doing, you know, well, I'm like, huh, what? See, we get them here every summer, just not a big horde of them. I don't think we and get any. They are noisy as all get out. Yep. No, we, mm. get, we get murder hornets instead. Oh, Remember you can have my, them. Yeah, my state's the first one to get the murder hornets. No. Hornet. I agree, Ted. 454. Locusts are, are actually grasshoppers and cicadas are a different type of bug. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah, coming this month. Chichadas on a stick. Chichadas, is that what you call them? Yeah, that's, that's what he calls them. That's how we call that's how we pronounce it down here, Chichadas. Oh, it's okay. I didn't know that. But okay, because there's no H in it. Yeah. Chichadas. Okay. It's it's a Spanish. Okay. There's no okay. H. It sounds like an H. Hey, look, I'm no Bendejo. I get it. Bendico. <laughs> Come on now. Oh my goodness. You, you tell me there's an A in the word America, but everybody goes America. 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 The a? What happened to the A? Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. I say America. Yeah. I think I say it right. Yeah, put them on a stick, barbecue them, and then freaking dip them in hot fudge. Mm. And the chichadas, they eat all the stuff like a locust, too? 
Well, and other animals eat them. Yeah. And they, the birds just love them. And they them. break That's out of their shells to uh, do a new shell, and they leave their old shells attached to everything. So uh, it's crunchy everywhere. Oh, see, I don't know anything about these things. We just don't oh. get those. Oh, I think I figured out what the PhD scientists can't figure out with the the supposed uh, bird flu. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that because you know what? The largest egg producer um, in Texas, actually one of the largest producers of eggs in the United States, they got their first case, and now uh, I think in a month from now, our eggs are going to be back up to 10 bucks. Uh, yep. Because they it was the number one producer of eggs. Yeah. Uh-oh, we it, just lost. It, she'll come back. She probably got a phone call. Okay. She, she drops when she gets a phone call. Yes, Richard Metcalf, I believe you are right that uh, they are great fishing bait, too. People don't realize. Oh, oh I didn't oh, know. That. The fish love them. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Well, here's one thing that we're missing. They're talking about... Uh, the bird flu and how it's being able to jump from mammal to mammal now, supposedly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a jumper. But they were testing it, and it jumps from pigs to other mammals. Okay. All right. What, what have we had really bad time with the last year or so throughout the country, mostly in the south, with the wild boars? They've gone freaking bad crazy. I mean, we're, uh, I could go out of a farmer's field. He's got 800 acres. He'll pay me to freaking hunt the, the hogs. I can shoot as many hogs as I want, and he'll pay me for each one. Because they're just freaking trampling and doing everything. So there's, I think they're the ones actually spreading everything because they poop. They eat anything and everything. And then, of course, they get near the freaking cows and stuff. Now, I don't know how true this is, but uh, supposedly some farmers have said that uh, some baby cats have been freaking attacked by uh, these uh, wild boars and uh, been eaten. So think about it. Is there that close proximity of these dairy cows? That's where they're getting it from. <laughs> but you don't hear any of the PhD experts that are freaking doing their thing. They're not checking about the wild boars, even though it's that pandemic in the country right now. Yeah, I didn't see that's another thing. Like we don't have those up here either. So I didn't know you guys are having a epidemic of these. Yeah, of these. They, it's been around. Those things are dangerous, years. I guess. They're they you know, they killed the king in the first episode of Game of Thrones, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Took him down. <laughs> yeah. A wild boar took down the king, yeah, and, wow. uh, and 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 we don't, we just don't have those up here. So it's like we don't have cicadas, we or chachacas or whatever. We don't have the pigs. Yeah. We just got volcanoes, yeah. earthquakes. Yeah. It's right, interesting. Hey, Ellen. So look for it in a couple of months, probably about six, because that's how the government reports stuff. They're going to say it's coming from the wild boars. Watch. And your eggs are going to be $10 a dozen by next month, most likely. Well, let's give it six weeks. Yeah. Till the I'm whole good. country I, I, knows. Yeah. I bought my powdered eggs. I'm good. Yeah, I got Have a good day, Richard. Thanks for coming. But I got to tell you, there's a difference in the powdered eggs in those, in those brands. Yeah, well, it okay. is. It's true. But, that, you know. That new tree spray on. Hello, hello, hello. Uh huh. I'm sorry. I know a lot of the channels are pumping that buy that food, but mm, taste that shit. You better do a comparison, man. Mm -mm. That one's nasty. I do. I do yeah. trust the uh, the Mormon one. I can't remember the brand name that they they use on there, but that the big Mormon church uses other number ten cans. Yep, I good. got flour from them. Yeah, number ten cans. Yep. Well, and I like Mountain House over Augustin Farms and Nutrient Survival and some of those other ones. I personally like Augustin or Mountain House better, but well, it's just going to suck if we have to start digging out this stuff and 
to have to start actually using yeah, LDF. Yep. I like that. That's He's the name. I'm LDF. Yep. I don't order it too often because I got a big back stock already. So, but yeah. Well, and I, when eggs were really cheap from the farmer the one time because they had an overabundance, I literally scrambled them and stuck them in my dehydrator on one of those um, fruit roll up sheets uh -huh. and pre freeze dried my, you know, dehydrated my own and powdered mm. them up. And they were I good. I tried doing that with an older dehydrator. You got to have a good dehydrator for that, just FYI. Yeah, and you have to have a tray that, you know, it's got like an edge on it, too. Yeah. So they don't run off on you when you first start them. But they do turn out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And we're going to have to do something because things are going to change here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have to. Yeah. Like, they're making yeah. a change regardless. And then I'm thinking about it, you know, like, in the early 1900s when we were just populating the United States. No, something massive happened over here. And it, it, it had to have. Because why do we have all these old buildings that they said that they just whipped up in a year or so? And they've got horse and buggies and shit, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's been a reset. Like, it, there, there's been a reset. <laughs> And, and I think we're getting ready for, you know, and maybe it always hits the U.S. Hey, every Mike. so many thousand years. What's the chances we got a big X, you know? Yeah. yeah. Never know. And That's then with it. all this shit coming out with all these mega stars and, you know, like all this P. Diddy and Epstein and like, and this never came out like this in, in our lifetime. And we're now, now, right now, keeping us all, because you don't want us looking up. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, because I, I can't believe how much stuff's going on in the news. I can't even keep up with it. No, and that's the other thing. Even if you try, are you getting the real news? Or are you getting, you know, broken news? Or are you getting complete lies, you know? Yeah, unless you're unless you're paying money for the court documents, <laughs> like, and some of these YouTube channels are doing it. They're yeah. paying hundreds of dollars to get these FOIA requests for these, you know, lawsuits. I mean, Cassie's lawsuit, um, some of these other rappers' lawsuits. I mean, I don't know. And then now these uh, producers are involved. Huh. <sighs> It's just another whole Epstein, but it's a rap Epstein. I don't know. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not awake. I'm rambling. Um, just too much in the news. I don't get it. No. Well, yeah, I forgot to mention earlier also, uh, New Mexico got notified. Well, they checked the cattle in New Mexico, and now they found the, the bird. <laughs> I don't know. So it spread. It's just that it, that's just not normal that a that a wild virus would jump from species to species. That's not no. When it's in history, it's not that way. A wild version. Now, if we concocted the version, okay, yeah. that's a whole nother story. And I don't know anything about that. But what I've learned about viruses, no, they don't yeah. generally jump from species to species. Well. All I gotta say is you gotta add a conspiracy in it. Look at the people that won't eat pork. That's all I gotta say. You figure out the rest. Well, I Go thought Google. that was the Bible story that made them not want to do the pork, you know, because the demons got thrown into the pigs and then they ran off the cliff or something. Yeah, but in the New Testament, Jesus says you can eat it, all types of food. The Old Testament had it not to eat stuff that had hooves. I, I still won't. Well, pigs are split hooved, aren't they? Oh, no. they're Yeah, pigs are split hooved. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> I don't eat pork chops, but I eat bacon. Oh, yeah. Bacon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't really like pork chops either. I've never really liked it. Even smothered in gravy and all that stuff. Like, yeah. no, just never been a pork chop kind of gal. 
No, B, I haven't seen the new potato commercial. Crazy. Oh, I'm tired of him begging for money in between the YouTube videos. Hey, guys, we're down to the lost wire. You got to help us save the country. Send your money now. And it's like, potato, nobody's going to send you any money. Come on. Sorry. Great. Okay, maybe Scott a in the house. Sorry. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, nope, Grace. you're good. Yeah, maybe there, maybe there are a few people that donated to Biden, but they don't know. Yeah, they're, they're afraid. They're afraid to uh, take the webs out of their eyes and see with their own eyes the truth. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Well, I think people are embarrassed to realize that some of these people have been in political office virtually for their whole careers and we just let it we let this happen hey john man yep. we we literally let this happen and and and, and it's sad <laughs> I mean, it's not like we intended you know but you know we didn't know years ago what biden and and these people were really doing yeah. and and right. with the internet now nothing everything's coming out you can't stop it you know what i mean everything's getting dug up yeah well, I think we need to use their uh, tactical ploys. You know how they want to do three background checks now when you purchase a weapon for self-defense? Mm -hmm. I think we need to do three background checks for anybody who tries to run for office. And if there's uh -huh. any vegetable, that, that disqualifies them because, you know, mm -hmm. a politician yeah, can start a war with another country and now we got to worry about nukes flying everywhere. But a person going to a gun store has just got to worry about, is he going to shoot somebody? Is he really just going to use it for self-defense? Hmm. So. Well, and I want to get rid of lobbyists on the Hill. I'm tired of these people because they're only, they're hired by independent yep. groups to, to, to force through their agenda. And these lobbyist groups, like, we got to get rid of them. Yep. You gotta stop taking little things from them and yep. you know, rub my rub my butt, I'll rub your butt shit, you know. Yep. Ew. Well that's what we did. Even... I know. I've seen some <laughs> awful videos from him lately. P. Diddy's just man, oh man. That's like J Lo did it to him. No, I I he think did. I think J Lo was actually, I think she hooked up with him just for her career, but she realized this dude is dangerous, and that's why you know you notice she she never attempted to marry him. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't know Ben Aff Affleck. Um, they were supposed to get married that t first time or something, yep. and and he called off the wedding. I didn't. See, yeah. I just found that out. I did. It's like she got burned, I guess. But he no, like, she was she was cheating on Ben with uh, what's his name oh. that she ended up marrying. Ben oh, um, who she married? A Tom? No, a no, singer. That's, that's skinny Mexican singer. I can't think of his name. You haven't heard nothing from him since. J -Lo yeah, ever, yeah, ever since him and J Lo. Yeah. You heard of Mel's home? Yeah, Ellington. Mark Anthony. Thank you, Random. Yes, B Charming. That is in Ellensburg, Washington. I just recently found out about that. And that scares the living daylights out of me because they're saying that that might be the opening to hell. And it's where? It's only an hour and a half. It's like, okay, Ellensburg or Ellen. No, <laughs> Ellensburg is an hour from me. And I want to know where the hell it is. But see, the thing is, you can't get up to that property now. The military and everything's all taking it away. Apparently, they took it away from him. Yeah, there's this big hole, you guys. I just found out about it. Yeah, we got one in Texas, too. The thing is, is, what I think it is, to be honest with you, just between, you know, us... I think it was, okay, when a volcano blows up, it also blows underground. 
Yeah. People don't understand that that the force is so intense that it'll it'll back blow it um like like underneath the volcano yeah. and and they become like sinkholes here in Washington. Yeah. And I think that was something maybe left over from, say, maybe Mount Rainier blowing off 150 years ago. Or that could have been one of the, the water fountains when uh, God decided to flood the earth. Oh, yeah, it could have been. Yeah. I mean, I just I just recently found out about it about a month ago, and I'm like, what? But you can't get up to that area, I guess. The military came in. Why would the military come in? Also, too, in, in that area that, you know, is, is Bigfoot country, too. Yeah. Anything from Ellensburg up to um, to the Cascade Mountains, because that's where those those little Bigfoots like to hang out is in the Cascade Mountains. It's really dense forest cover, like super dense. Nothing grows underneath the canopy. Well, I think that's... Go ahead. I think it's pretty weird, Tim, that we we went from P. Diddy to talking about hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I came in just right down. I love it. P. Diddy is a Sasquatch. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> I knew he was going to say something like that. Well, and the thing is, is now I know why Wendy Williams is going batshit crazy. Because I found last night a couple of her old videos from some of her old shows and she calling out Diddy and I, and Diddy, no, uh, he did. <sighs> yeah. I think he was part of a lot of her breakdown of her career because she was finding out what was going on and she's, you know, basically going on on public national TV telling everybody and they didn't like it because there was these girls that were supposed to jump her at the radio station one one day before she even had her her national show or whatever. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they were supposed to be chicks from that, you know, entourage of P. Diddy or something. But like, yeah, Wendy Williams, I'm sorry, Wendy, for what you're going through. I know you chose probably a very odd career and calling out people. She listen is, is she listening? I don't know, but I know you were trying to get the truth out there, and thank you. But you, you're you're paying the ultimate price because these people have gaslighted you, and now you're cray cray over it. Who was she married to? Um, somebody in in the industry, but he wasn't like you know an actor. He was like some kind of producer or something. She didn't mess around with Ty. I'm, I'm, something in my brain thinks she was messing around with Tyson at one time. All right, yeah, the other. Mark. Mark, this Wendy Williams is an African female that did a talk yeah. show for a long time. It's not Wendy O. Williams. Oh, yeah, Wendy Williams. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm thinking about the other was, the, uh, actress was, lady that was the best friend with Tyson. She was, she was a, a black female kind of shock jock mm -hmm. okay. about, about the time that, what's his name, uh, Howard Stern, I think it was. Is that yeah. whose name? And, um, but she primarily stayed in hip hop and the black culture, BTE kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, BET. BET. Yeah. But I think they, they gaslighted the shit out of her cause she, yeah. she knew cause she came out and said that P Diddy was, you know, batting both ways. Yeah. She's, she's a scorned woman. You know, not to mess with a scorned woman. Yeah. And, and I really don't care what you do in your bedroom. But if you're doing things to manipulate people to do things for you and, and you tell them that they have to do that to, to have a career, you can go to you know where and burn. Yeah. You, nobody should do that to anybody. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. like this one guy, apparently he's saying that he called P. Diddy because him, him and P. Diddy were friends years ago, asked if one of his relatives could get an internship <coughs> he did he said yeah this is out on the internet i don't know which guy it is with some guy and he claimed that everything was fine and then three months later all of a sudden the family members not 
working with P. Diddy anymore. And then a year or two after that, they came out and said that P. Diddy said, either you, you know, do the dirty with me tonight or your in ex internship is over. And it was over. So he wanted, he wanted that bonus hole. Yeah, he wanted the bonus hole. And this guy's coming out and saying, you know, you know, a lot of shit's coming out, you guys. Yeah. But why? Why now? Is it because of everything that's going on? Probably. And there's a shift in the universe. I can feel it. A shift. Oh, in Orange energy. man. Orange man did it. He's making Orange. it happen. And yeah, Amy, I think, I think that blonde you're talking about, I believe, was Bridget Nelson. Uh, what with Tyson? <laughs> yep. No, no, it wasn't blonde. She was. She was a. a she was a lady of color, as like I like to put it. She was a lady of color. I'm. And she, Robin Givens, there it coming to my oh, head. Robin okay, Givens. That oh, okay. That's who I was thinking about. I thought you said blind, so I was like, yeah. And what happened to her? She disappeared too. She, mm, like, she's quiet. She's yeah. not disappeared, but she don't. She, I don't think she's doing any acting anymore. Yeah. Right, Navy vet. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a question for you guys. How would you think they would figure out? I, way ahead of time that a state of emergency has to be called. So it's pretty right. You, you cut the what? You cut off. Well, Indiana and Niagara Falls are declared a state of emergency for already the eclipse? for the April. For yep. They're not. They're not even a pass of it. I think it's a money grab. Myself. My husband a, claims that <laughs> it, it because the last one. So many people showed people, up in yep. these towns that they, they're worried that it's going to happen like it happened last time. Well, guess what? I was on the West Coast. I didn't hear that much about how bad it was. And they didn't shut schools down either. No, they didn't shut schools down. Fear born. Uh -oh. yeah. You know, and then also, too, why is it the eclipse pattern now keeps looks looks like it's moving on the map and i can't it looks like it's moving east but like they don't know no nope. what, about, what about that lunar eclipse that we supposedly had the other night oh it was massive it was huge i saw it no you didn't <laughs> <laughs> see that's I looked all thing, night. Like, coming up with shit like all of a sudden oh we're having this Oh, sorry. It didn't happen the way we thought it would. Trella says they're going to shoot missiles at it. Yeah, yep. they're, they're shooting, shooting something that's at really it. That's really intelligent right there. They want to they wanna test the ionosphere during this time is what they're saying. Oh, let's see. We're going to shoot missiles. CERN's going to fire up. We're all going to die. But, yeah, we got the dragon comet coming right at us. Oh, there you forgot about that one. Add those. That's a trifecta right there. Yes, we are all... Going to perish on April 8th or 9th. Has, has anybody noticed this? That when they're around people that got you, that you know what, and all the other ones, your heart flutters? Anybody else get that? Any weird I, sensations I, 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 when they're around world. people? Hmm. No, but when you're around people that have no. the butt files, hello, hello. No, no I don't know about that true. one, but shedding is real. I, I'm, I'm from proof of. My other half, I know shedding is real. Oh. All I know Man, is I don't. when I go to the barber, I make sure that uh, <laughs> the area is clean before because I don't like that shedding crap. Well, this lady I know that does uh, therapeutic massage, she says acupuncturists and massage therapists are the two because they get their hands on with people and she quit doing anybody that had... She prefers none at all, but if they've had more than one, she won't touch them. Yeah. She said she got sick. Well, yeah, because yeah, you might get demon face syndrome. I don't know nothing about that. Sasquatch face. You don't know about the demon face syndrome? No, I don't know about that one. Oh, my God. You got to know about edu it. Educate me on it. Okay, I was going to educate you all a little bit because this kind of scares me, too, because they're correlating it with the... Um, they're correlating it with the uh, with the sun, the, this eclipse. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah. So here we go. Let's look at it real quick. All right. Now I know I know a couple of the band members from Sun Garden. <laughs> that, that's that I'm right over the target. So I'm going to try this one more time. 
and will maybe say use rhyming words sometimes if I have to. I don't know. But what is going on with the Soundgarden video, Black Hole Sun, and the similarity with Demon Face Syndrome? Demon Face Syndrome. If you have not heard about this syndrome yet, please look it up. I'm not making this up. It is a syndrome that has been happening to people over the last week or so where people all of a sudden see demon faces on other people's faces. So all of a sudden they'll be looking at something, they'll looking at someone and they'll, their face will morph into a demon face. Now this has been reported more than once. There has been over five incidents on airplanes where people freak out because they claim that the person sitting next to them is a demon and the faces of the descriptions that we're getting for the demons match the same face in that music video for Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. Now, that's just interesting to me. Were they trying to tell us something in that music video? Chris Cornell is no longer with us. His name is Chris Cornell. That's CC. That's 33. He did have a Skull and Crossbones t-shirt on in that video. Uh, which could has you know lots of Illuminati ties, the Skull and Crossbones club, their satanic little club that they have there. I believe Skull and Crossbones is is that Harvard's secret club. I believe it's Harvard's secret club. Yeah, so there's a lot of weird similarities going on with that video and with the solar eclipse. I highly recommend if. It comes to the eclipse day, and all of a sudden, you start seeing demon faces. I would probably... Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. I'm going to get in trouble, but I'm going to automatically call bullshit on that. Me Chris too. Cornell, Chester Bennington, we're going to expose child stuff. And yeah. Chris Cornell, yes, he had some issues going on. Um, I can't remember what it was. Anxiety issues and things like that. Well, he ain't no even, part of no skull and bones. No, yeah. I don't think he's part of skull and bones, but I think he knew he found out something a long time ago. I and, can go down that path, yes. And the demon thing, um, I, 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 it's not off the table. I have not seen it yet, but I have seen two people in the last couple years that their eyes went black. And these were both people that I'm assuming that got a shot. And one of them was my mother, okay? And she got the shot, you guys. So nothing's off the table. It, this, people are starting to see demon faces on people. Why? It, are they morphing because they got the shot? Is that how we're going to know that they got the shot? Oops. Sounds like to me they took too many I mushrooms. Mean, oh, I better shut up. I don't want to get shift in trouble. Yes. You're good. <laughs> No, I don't want to get you in trouble. We can. Um, I don't, I'm I don't good. I'm not monetized and never will be. So go for it. Well, we're not monetized either, but you know, it's like I'd rather. And know, it's for it's support. for entertainment purposes only. I have a banner. Yeah, that's right. That's we're right. Just joking around. We don't know nothing. Well, I'm going to take but, the the left the left fork instead of the right fork with this black hole sun stuff. Skull and Bones originated with pirates. All right. Oh, Correct. Black yeah. Hole Sun is really about butts. Oh, are you kidding so, me? Booty pirates. Think about it. Now connect that to freaking P Diddy. There you go. go. I'm I'm, I'm going to go right with trust. I don't agree with him many times, but he just took that five pound hammer and he slammed that sixteen penny nail. Oh yeah, that does one, make sense because that what they were pirates. And the ones that have the freaking weird faces that have gotten it in the booty. Would you have a weird face if? Uh, well, there's that joke yeah. about the barrel on the boat too. Yeah. Bend over the barrel. Well, you know, the, yeah, you, you get thrown in it one day a week. The barrel treatment. Yeah, or so it's a bad joke. I don't want to do it on Shisk channel. 
but yeah, no, I'm uh, like, okay, so now you guys, we need to look for demon faces and maybe it's because we don't have that in us that we can see these people. Maybe they're more, maybe the, the, the stuff and it's morphing. There's, I don't know, but I haven't seen one yet. I see them every day. Every day I'm out here driving. Most everybody driving bar a little small vehicles, personal vehicles. They all got demon face because they can't. Their brains are not functioning properly because they can't freaking drive. Well, and that's case you're real. Real. Go ahead. <laughs> That, he's not a jerk. He's just a typical truck driver trying to make sure he doesn't kill somebody. Oh, yes, I am a jerk. I'm a, I'm the biggest dick out here on the roads. I sure am. Yes, I just know what I see all the time. People are losing their damn minds and they can't drive. Some of that's due with cell phones. Some of that's due with their out in space. Their brain is not functioned on what they're doing out here. And yes, I do not want to kill nobody. It's not my intentions at all, mm -hmm. but it gets harder every day I'm out here. I hear you. And I don't know. I have, if big, I have a big favor of people in chat right now. Clicky mm -hmm. the linky above if you're not sub to trust in God, please. We're trying to get him to a thousand so we can have a joint 1K party. Me and what him. about my cash it out? Will be Next time. Yeah, that'll oh, be God. with the chicken merch. Oh. Yeah, we're getting okay. chicken merch. They'll pull the wool over my parade. Mike B, good morning. It yeah, ain't morning. It's 1 18 in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, it's true. still it's still morning in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, Pacific yeah, don't it, matter. It, it, and Mike B, that's kind of weird that you say ten is right. What has been hidden is being revealed. And from a little kid, all I heard is what's done in the dark will come to the light. Yep. From my mom. In other words, don't lie. Don't cheat, don't steal, because what you you do in the dark comes to the light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And light don't is more, stuff, always so. more powerful than dark. When you cut the lights on, dark goes away. Light always wins, which is the good side. Hopefully, that's where uh -huh. we're headed. And don't buy your subs. That's just so obvious. Oh. <laughs> no, exactly. this, is, this is for AB. Ann Garvey wants to know. It says, no truckers on roads on April 8th. Some say that is true, or do you know yet? I haven't heard that, but I'm I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna April eighth on a Monday, correct? Yeah. Yep. I ain't I ain't scared. I'll do my deal. I can walk home. I carry extra food and extra things that go pop with me. I am good. I'm gonna be out here doing my job. We're trying to figure out if we want to go Sunday, the day before, and we can all repent our sins because we might not be here the next day. Or do we go on the 8th and go, hey, we're still here, and um, we didn't die, so we're trying to figure out. So I, we don't I may go somewhere Monday night while I'm working. Or Monday, I'll, I won't go to work till Monday night. I, I don't, I, I'm not phased. Well, maybe I ain't scared. Maybe we'll go on Monday instead of Sunday, you guys. Just um, for shits and giggles. Yeah. Well, and we're we're gonna change. We're gonna change maybe the time for the. Sh I don't know what we're doing yet. Shift right. We don't know yet. Right. Yeah. And be show charming. Up. Yes, I see Benjamin in chat. Yeah, show up on Tuesday, and we'll tell you. Right baby, here. Dance on Monday or not. So oh, and then next week I do have a uh, company all week. From out of town, so that, uh -oh. could, yeah, I haven't seen my daughter in two years, and she's Ooh. coming to coming to visit. Yeah, because last summer when she came, um, I was um in Seattle for that two months. So, Ten, can I renegotiate my contract? Yeah, yeah, we're we're re no, we're re we're yeah. Oh, it's gonna cost. It's well, gonna cost. No, you're getting chicken merch. Remember? No, I'm getting I'm getting six figures. No, no you I'm better at. back down, buddy, because they're going to treat me like, uh, what's his name, <laughs> the Cowboys. I'm going to be the highest paid player in the game. Oh, God, the Cowboys. Back. You want to go with the Cowboys. Wow. Losers. There's out there. Mm -hmm. That's why I went with it. I argued, I argued enough with you this morning, so I'm not, I ain't got it in me now, so I'll just go, you're right. 
Oh, we're gonna have Agent J Pasties available in the um, merch shop too. For that me. ain't all he's working up. That's not all, all he's working like, on. Yeah, Jay's actually working up some stuff, you guys. Things are gonna change on Tin TV just a little bit, though, not much. Yeah, we're gonna have AB thimbles for your. Uh, for all you uh, sewers out there, less for average uh, shock protectors, you know. Oh, oh and, the, and the chicken nugget um, key fob cover. It'll yeah. it'll go over your key fob and it'll look like a little happy chicken. Let's, let's make this clear. It's going to be whole breast, not that extruded, extruded, extracted chicken nuggets. The whole breast nugget. The yeah. good shit. The ones from McDonald's. You vote for Pedro. Good to see you, hon. Thanks for coming in. So you'll just have to push one of its eyes to lock it or unlock it, you know, on your key fob. So, you know, talk about the eclipse. I got a question for everybody okay. in the chat because I already know the answer. I know Shift knows the answers. I don't know about AB and 10. Uh, you're 50-50 on my book right now. I don't know shit. Yeah. Do y'all know what the biblical stuff is saying about the eighth? On what to look for or what not to do and all this? And this is even coming from the Vatican. So yeah, give it give it thirty seconds and let's see people's response. Yeah, hit me. No, nope. nope, I'm, I'm waiting to see if chat knows. I was like, yeah, no, maybe. Stay safe, B. Yeah, and that's why I tell people. If you Have a great day, B. Charming. B's always on my side. She's never on my side. Yes. The Vatican doesn't lie, right? BF1. Well, you know, I'm not talking about the Pope announcing it. I'm talking about it's coming out from uh, lower ones. Yeah. Mark 2, Three Days of Darkness, possibly. And it's all tied if you actually look at the old calendars versus the calendars we're on now. A uh, win Passover officially was, for one. If you're familiar with Passover in the Bible. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, where uh, the people stayed inside their homes and they painted uh, goat's blood on their doors and they stayed inside no matter what they heard. They did not go outside and everything else. So stuff like that. And we've even had some, uh, what, what do you call it, Canaanites? Some people mm -hmm. that have been Canaanized or however you want to put it had predictions on there that uh, there's going to be demons running loose during the darkness. Call the Ghostbusters. Yeah, you don't want to be outside. So it's kind of funny that they talk about demon faces. Yeah. Demons uh -huh. are running out of these people. You never know. You know, and the governments, all of them are talking about, oh, no, have three days of food. Don't trust the government. I say go five freaking five days. Months. You know, five months. Yeah, you say, you say, yeah, if you're a prepper, you should already have a whole lot more, at least six months worth. But uh, just be prepared and don't go anywhere on Monday. You really don't need to. Take the day off. Call in sick. Because, you know, if you're at work and this shit happens, you're trapped inside your building, you can't go out, you see all this funny stuff, you see it all, you can't make it home. Was the way they're saying if you step outside, you automatically collapse and you're frozen and can't move or talk. And you're just seeing all the terrible stuff. And then, come on, man. Hey, I'm just telling you what the freaking they're saying. Okay. Hey, they're one a demon. They're one a demon right there. Crazy demon. Hey, I'm, I'm just covering the stuff that they're freaking talking about. Oh, I'm not. I'm not questioning you. No, no. I mean, if you can, yeah, it's probably a good time. But, I mean, I. I, I got to get out here and do what I do every day. And I don't, me personally, I don't live my life in fear. I never did during the Jabrona. And I just, I mean, if it's my time, it's my time. There's done not a damn thing I can do about it. See, and they're going to run CERN during this time. How do we know CERN's not going to affect the, the powers of the world? That bothers me. massive EMP that shuts all the power down. So, yeah, we have three days of darkness thanks to CERN. Think about it. Or Nib or um, Nibiru's no, moon come in front on. of our sun. Come on, Tim. Not well, Nibiru. Yeah, Nibiru. Yeah, I think it might be. Well, you know, we got the devil comment. What if uh, 
they shoot they're actually shooting those rockets to try to nudge it and it cracks and part of it comes off and hits the waters and y'all killing me small it was actually called wormwood but they didn't know uh, well never know you know when you play i will go with that we don't know we we don't because i i i question everything now because of the technology that we have the ai i mean because they can take my head put it on anybody's body and it looked real and you can't tell the damn difference i question because of technology ain't news it's out there now um, if it's real or if it's you know generated that's yeah, and it's gonna that's gonna get worse i'm afraid yeah. i don't like elon musk but he's warned us about ai and i will agree with him on that i don't know if he's he is a part of it putting that what is that chip in the brain i don't uh, i'm not down with that yeah, somebody check with the Vatican website and see what they're going to be doing during Ooh. that time frame. Are they going to be down, in, down there with the Lucifer freaking telescope checking the stuff out? What are they putting on the website that they're doing with the Lucifer? Because, you know, the Vatican's got that big old... We need to get a viewer. We need to get a viewer from that area. <laughs> yeah. In Italy. Something else I've noticed, too, and I don't know if you guys have, but in the last two weeks... Every day, somebody's gone missing, whether it's two moms, uh, young college boys, young kids. Like, what is going on every day? Is it happening in your state? Speaking of that, what is the deal? I really haven't tuned in a lot. The The Cajun Navy was looking for, um, uh, I think it was a young kid. Mm -hmm. And there was some death threats or something, and they they stopped. Well, I, 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 I don't know what problem, the whole deal is with that. I think part of the problem is there's too many YouTubers, law crime YouTubers that are involved, and I think they're mucking stuff up bad. And I think the dad, that frog. I think the dad really wants his kid back, but something's going on with those other parents. But some of you cr law and crime um, channels out there, you YouTubers um, that are going down there that for clicks and views, stop. Go down there and help. Don't fucking stream. stream. Stop your streaming, streaming while, while you're supposedly looking for a missing child. Yeah. This, this, this shit's got to stop. Because it's making it hard for people to find missing people right now. And, if you, and, and you guys all start looking in your states. Go back the last two weeks. Every day there's been somebody gone missing. Why? Because they need lots of people to sacrifice during this shit that's going to come on. There's a kid that just disappeared in Idaho two days ago. These uh, two moms that were supposedly going to go pick up their kids, they just disappear? Mm -hmm. On Easter? Two moms? Yeah, Mark, Mark I agree with you. Oh no, Mary Shea, I might agree with her on that one too. Let me read her. With all the bunkers and all that going up, and there, you know, nobody's been talking about those uh, tables to heal and stuff anymore. You know what I'm talking about, right? No, because I don't think th I think that was all a psyop. The med bed. Well, I think they actually made them, and everybody just got told or threatened not to talk about it anymore. Or they have them just because for if they go underground. What happens if you have freaking kidney failure? You're gonna need kidneys. There's yeah. a movie. There's a movie that's based upon another, uh, 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 not a satellite. What am I thinking about? Like a, uh, uh, oh god, it's in space and it's like a whole other planet. And all these people do this thing just to try to get there and use the med beds. Yeah. It's, all this is I can't remember the name of it, but all all this when they put it on the movies. That's it. it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, Elysium, yeah. That yes. Yeah, but instead of in space, they're doing it underground. Think about it. Hey, maybe. I, I don't, I mean, I don't trust nothing. That's why I've said this a hundred times on 10 Remember, TV. It's, it's only the elite. Make well, I've, I've said this. It, it's anything is possible, especially mm. when you see, you look at all, look, we go back a long time ago, William Shatner, Star Trek. They had phasers on stun. That's a laser type weapon. Those things kind of be true. The only thing that I haven't seen that can verify is the transporter thing, but we've got kind of 
weapons, yeah. the little thing, Kirk, and Ken, that was a flip phone. He always talked to the Enterprise. All that stuff's come to be true. Oh, remember the, the push button coffee? Okay, I know that sounds really weird, but if you go back to the beginning of Star Trek, none of you know, there wasn't push button coffee then. Oh, you're Not talking about it makes it makes it really quick. It brings yeah. the it brings the cup in there. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. even in the convenience stores in the 70s, you still had the pot, remember? It seems like the push button stuff, you know, like even your soda machines, like when did they go push button? What 30, 40 years well, ago? They they had the push button ones at the, the hospitals. Yep. In the, the 70s? Yeah, in the hallways and the machines. You'd have to prick and pay 50 cents for a crappy cup of coffee. Sometimes I don't, they yeah, I don't sometimes that. they didn't. Yeah. Man, y'all went through some y'all y'all went into some deep damn holes today, just in our little time. Uh huh. Say, saying of which I just parked my truck and, and much as I want to sit here and keep digging and talking about squatch. Yeah, be, be and sure. and phasers on stun. I'm gonna yeah, get out of this truck because I'm like calling it day. Replicator. Yep. They're already doing Who's that with the pain Oh the yeah, you stick me. You hit the little button and it squirts some goo in a cup and then it turns into a cupcake or or a pretzel or something yeah yeah they even had it in that movie passengers so did did um star trek invent the bidet a what no How did we go to the bidet i think, they, I think yes. it was the the hoover like the NASA astronaut. Did you have to wash your butt in space with <laughs> toilet paper? Have you, has any of y'all, has anybody in chat or has anybody on this panel ever used a bidet? Because I'm going to go ahead and answer. Hell. Yes. You have? AAP, good to see you, yes. Yeah, more women use a bidet than uh, men. <laughs> Mom Oh, Wait, shit. That's a good way to end. I want to know who's used a bidet. If you've used one, put one in chat. I just got to know. How many of y'all used a bidet? Answer the damn question. I want hey, to you know there what, when there's one in your, your hotel room and, yeah, you, you got to try it out. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, my husband. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna wait till the nighttime to, to to I gotta write this. I gotta write down what's in my brain right now because I wait till it's nighttime and it's a more uh, PG thirteen plus whatever before I say what I'm gonna say. Holy oh, shit! Uh, for you, I figured out cat women. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Okay, B. I got you. I, 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 I'm negative. I've never had one. I have midgets wipe my ass. <laughs> That's a good oh, one. Jay, uh, oh, he, Jay would love that. That'd tickle his fancy. Maybe something else would tickle. AAP. What? AAP, he, she said. AAP Homestead. He, Sister Golden Hair cool says one. Oh, it was one. Yes. Yeah, oh, one was yes. I love Sister Golden Hair. She's so nice. And who else did I see? Tripzilla, Trippin' Falls, I mean. They had a one, too. Yippers. They did, they did. <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> What's in my brain? Oh, no. Hello, oh, Sister no. Golden well, I'm Hair. Glad it's in your, I'm, I'm glad it's in your brain. But, guys, it's that time. So I'm gonna let you guys say goodbye. What time, what time is it? Is I got it is four minutes, twelve thirty-five. Okay. Central. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. If you've used a bidet, um, I hope it tickled your fancy. Y'all have a great weekend or great rest of the week. That's all I can say. And trust. Okay, remember tell you love when you love and if uh, even if you're mad at him, you don't know what's gonna happen in five minutes or twenty four hours. And just for informational purposes, yes, the USA is uh well behind in the toilet <laughs> department. But uh come Monday, well when it comes Tuesday morning, there's a possibility we're all back into outhouses or digging a or hole. your bidet or your bidet. <laughs> there won't be no more boudets because the water outside won't work. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I had to say that. And and Tim, before I pray us out, what would do you have anything? Um I I'd like to say I don't know what we're doing on Tin TV this week, you guys. I'm sorry. Um I just I I I'm tired. Um I, I gotta catch up on life back at home here. And so hopefully um trust maybe a B you work Monday. No, you work Sunday. What day do you work again? Um, I'll be working uh, Sunday night, <clears throat> and then I'm off Monday night. No, oh. actually, no. Wait, wait. Yeah, I'm off Monday night. But okay. I can get up because I mean I'm probably get up and I'm gonna probably watch watch people go crazy. Yeah, because I'll talk to Jay tonight, and we'll find and uh, we'll let you guys know. But sorry. You know, life happened, um, but we'll be back. You know, don't worry. We'll be back. Trust. trust. What was that saying you gave earlier? I can't remember. Um, well, don't forget, trust in God will go live tomorrow, I'm sure. At yep, 8 a.m., 8.30 Central, and then again at 11.30 Central. Where's Ship Kicker? What was, what was the thing you said about Lindell earlier today? Um, don't, give your, don't give your pillow head. Give it some ass, or what was that? Yeah, I can't remember. It's funny as hell. Oh yeah, stop giving your pillow head. Give it ass instead. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. Bless us, Lord, as we leave here today to take your passion with us, fan its flame after we part, and inspire our best contributions. Remind us always of your love as we see our plans unfold and accomplish the goals we set for ourselves today. Amen. Amen. And I'm just going to say, stay blessed, guys, not stressed. Smile at somebody. You never know how to change their day. And check on your neighbors. And think Much about love. The lady's ex exit song as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yep. Come and we eight. say, yep. And I'm just going to say, bye. Yep. Chelsea's.